Hey everybody, it's Semax7 and welcome back to more Ocarina of Time 3D. So, um, yeah, in the last episode we explored inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly dungeon and yeah, we managed to save Princess Rudo and she was actually looking for Zora Sapphire, the last spiritual stone, the spiritual stone of water. And yeah, as soon as we helped her, we, she actually gave us the stone. So yeah, we have now the free spirit spiritual stones and we're going back to Iral Castle now and talk to Princess Zelda. So let me just check if there's something I'm missing here before we go up ahead. And yeah there was this boss Barry Knight would look like Whoa is that the owl? It seems so. Let's just talk to him. So yeah there was a, the boss we defeated called Barry Knight which looks like um a jellyfish creature and yeah that was the boss for that dungeon and we used the bomb run for that it was really cool so here we go let's just talk to the owl what are you doing you've come a long way to get up here you should touch the map sub screen mm -hmm, okay hey max 7 this is beautiful lake full of pure clear water at the lake bottom there is a water temple used to worship the water spirits the zoras are guardians of the temple hoo hoo Zoras come from Zoras domain in the northeast Iral, an aquatic race they are in long time ally. Yeah, we know the stuff. Mm hmm. Alright. I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talents. Oh, that's good, cause we're heading to the castle too, so yeah, let's do this, guys. Here we go. So we have now the free spiritual stones. Let's see what Zelda has to tell us. Okay, <laughs> and we're flying on our way to the castle. Oh, what's happening? Master. You over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! Oh, so you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. Okay, so it seems that's it, so what we just saw here, this cutscene, uh, it was actually like what happened in the beginning of the game, so yeah, it seemed that Link's dream or vision uh, kind of happened, so yeah, and Zelda threw something here, let's see what it is, 
so let's just try to grab it oh come on there we go You found the Ocarina of Time! This is the royal family's hidden treasure that Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Hmm, so that is the Ocarina of Time. Okay, we finally got the Ocarina now. Herbex 7, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda! Herbex 7, when you hold this Ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least, I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. Okay, here we go. You played the Song of Time. Alright, we'll need this. You've learned the Song of Time. Now, Airbag 7, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Alright, guys. So let's do this. We have the Ocarina of Time, we have the Free Spiritual Stones, and we have the Song of Time. So, yeah, we can open now the Door of Time. Okay, so let's do this, guys. Yeah, let's keep moving. We could actually get some rupees, but yeah, no problem about it. Let's just keep moving. I really want to see what's gonna happen now. Okay, so, here we go. And here we are, at the Temple of Time. Okay, so here we are, guys. And so that should be the altar that Zelda told us about. There are three olives and an inscription here. He who owns three spiritual stones stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. Okay, so let's just play the Ocarina right away. Let's see what happens, guys. And here are the three spiritual stones. We're gonna place them in the altar, I think. That's it guys, we did it. We opened the door of time. That's what we've been expecting all these in the, all, during all these episodes we've been expecting for this moment. So yeah, let's see it. Havoc 7, isn't that? It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. Okay, time to get the Master Sword, I think. Let's see, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Excellent work. As I thought you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Herak 7 Wake up, Herak 7, the chosen one. I am Roru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is a chamber of sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Erak 7, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Oh, so we're older. Look, Erak 7, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you are too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yes. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo, King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained a Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the Temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, he transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in the sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. Hi, Roru. I'm one of the sages. And... Your power to fight together with the sages make you the hero of time. The hero of time is chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you. And find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. You received the Light Medallion, Raru the Sage adds his power to yours. Hmm, so we got a Light Medallion. Find the other Sages and save Iroh. Temple of Time And here we are guys, we're back. Herak 7, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have 7 years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Hmm, okay. Oh! Who's that? I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. 
When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will blind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheikh, survivor of the Sheikah. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakuriko village. Do you understand, Ermac 7? Yeah. Okay. So, that's it guys. It seems we'll have to head to Kakuriko village now. And see if we can obtain something useful for our quest. We'll see about that. But yeah, after that we'll need to go to the forest temple. So yeah, let's keep moving. So yeah, the world is really different. It seems that Ganondorf really destroyed the world somehow. S Whoa, what's this? Uh, yeah, everything is crumbling apart. And there's this kind of creatures who look like zombies or something. Whoa, this is really spooky. So let me see if the things are different, like here, for example. Oh, what's that? So yeah, it seems things are really different around here. What's that, a guy with ghosts? Oh, you are quite an enchanting young man. You're brave and handsome too. Hehe, <laughs> your name is Airbag 7, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Iron. Mm hmm. Okay. The ghosts called those are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the field and graveyard. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a poo, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> okay, so the guy sells ghosts and it seems that if we get ghosts, he'll pay us. Mm, okay, that must be some kind of side quest. But yeah, all the place is really different now. I don't know if all Iral is like that or only Iral Castle. Oh, so yeah, everything seems normal here. So yeah, I guess that Ganondorf really destroyed... Oh, and that's a ghost actually. Yeah, but yeah guys, that's pretty much it. So... Um, we're gonna head to Kakiruku village now. I don't know if there's something u useful somewhere else, maybe in London Ranch. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll have to check it. But yeah, maybe we're gonna end the episode right here. In the next one I'm gonna see if I'm heading right away to Kakiruku village or is there anything else useful. Maybe in London Ranch or somewhere else. Some kind of side quest, you know. We'll see about it. But right now for the main storyline we really need to get to Kakiruku village get the item that shake told us about and then after that we'll go to the forest temple so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video I really enjoyed this time travel thing and the, all, all that stuff we have now the master sword we have now the alien shield equipped and link is bigger now so yeah he's older really cool so yeah don't forget to like the video Leave me your comments in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next episode guys. Thanks for watching.